The main trends we see in the industry are, there's two or three actually. The main ones are uh, diversifying the product. The guys want to just not be a, a traditional commercial paper printer. They want to add value to what they're doing for their customers and by doing that, increase their margin. That's one, uh, definitely one trend. Another trend is uh, we're seeing is power, you know, where customers are perhaps using UV already and they need to save energy. Uh, so that's a big thing right now, uh, particularly in Europe. So we see guys wanting to move away from UV, which burns a lot of energy, to LED UV, which takes a lot less energy, something about 70% less. And I think uh, the other thing is time. Customers want to produce more work, they want to put it through the factory, but you can't. If the ink's wet, you can't do that. So um, we see guys who wouldn't necessarily look at UV or consider UV say, hang on, if I want to produce a job, at, you know, 5,000 run or 500 sheet run, and I want to finish it, I've got to put it through the folder, I've got to stitch it and trim it, can I do that? Well, the answer is, yes, you can. With LED UV, you can print it, fold it, stitch it, trim it, basically within the moment you've taken it off the delivery of the machine uh, straight away and then out the door. And that does two things. One, it takes up less space in terms of work in progress, which is a big deal because you won't need so much space. And secondly, you're going to get paid on that invoice much, much quicker. And I can tell you, I see companies who are waiting two or three days with work in progress on the floor because they can't touch it. The ink's not dry, it'll smudge, it'll scuff, it'll scratch. So with LED UV, you've got the immediate answers to that problem in able to run that job through and get paid. And that's a really big thing. So there's two or, two or three trends. There's some other things that I see, but um, probably another one I've seen a lot is guys who want to produce specialized. They, they're a commercial printer, and it comes back to diversifying, but not just, oh, I want to print plastic, I want to print cardboard. I've seen commercial printers migrate from being a commercial paper printer to a cardboard, carton box packaging printer. So that's a really something that we see a lot, and I think that's going to continue to happen in the commercial market. So that's, there are the things that we see you know, in, in, in basic form.